Hello everybody, welcome in. Thank you so much for being here. My name's Amanda, for those of you who don't know me, and this is the Connected Conduit where I just open up, tippy tap in, and bring through messages for you. Okay, let's take a moment to open our hearts and our minds to the beautiful divine truth, love, clarity, guidance, wisdom, and knowledge that wishes to come through today for us. I'm hearing you know more than you realize and to guard this knowledge carefully and make sure you are speaking this knowledge to the right people at the right time. Um, okay, so what I'm hearing is that you're about to receive some downloads from the divine. You're going to be receiving three downloads, but they're not coming in all at once. They're going to be dropping these into your crown chakra over the course of three to six weeks or even three to six months, okay? There's something about three to six, three to six weeks or months. So it just depends on your own personal journey. Like how often do you sit in meditation, right? Because this is when they're gonna give it to you during meditation or a spiritual practice. Now they don't share this information right away. You're gonna wanna wait, wait. Wait until all of the downloads have been dropped into your crown chakra and you have received all of the information that the divine wants you to have and then once you have this information you're want, you're going to want to create something from it in in secret keep it secret keep it private don't share it don't don't spread it around don't tell everybody shh secrets divine secrets <laughs> high priestess energy write this book in secret Create this work of art in secret. Keep it on the down low, okay? Keep it on the down low. And when you do create it, get a lawyer and get it notarized or I don't know the the legal term, but you're going to want to protect it, protect it with some sort of seal. I don't know, like um, a copyright or something like this so that other people cannot take your idea and profit from it okay so there's something here about getting getting your work um protected by some sort of copyright or something like that okay just take it how it applies interesting so wait okay because many of you are like when this comes in you're going to be so excited and enthusiastic about it that you're going to want to share it right away but the divine is saying hold off wait because there's more to come there's going to be three to six downloads and this may come in over the course of three to six weeks or three to six months And the reason why the divine wants you to wait is because these are your blessings. You have earned this. So they want you to have it. You and only you. Because you're going to do right by this knowledge. You're going to do right by this information that comes through. You're going to be able to take this, make something of it, and then turn around and help humanity with this. But if it gets into the wrong hands, then someone malicious could benefit from this and and um misinterpret the wisdom or whatever this is that's coming through so we don't want that you have to protect this that's what they're saying you have to protect this these downloads this information that's coming in okay because they don't want it to fall into the wrong hands The Queen of Pentacles, this is it. This information that's coming in is for you and it's going to help increase your pentacles, your finances, your money, and you deserve it because you've earned it the right way with honor and integrity. 
you've done the healing work, you've put in the time, you've, you've proven that you're a good person and that you can handle this, okay? You're solid, you're stable, you're reliable, you're trustworthy, you're loyal, and you're very committed to your craft, you're very committed to your light work, you're very committed to whatever it is you do here, okay? So this is for you and only you. You could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but you don't have to be. And you could be male or female, it doesn't matter. The tower, this is going to come in fast, okay? Very quick. It's like an epiphany right away. Ten of Wands. Spirit just wants you to know that, like, the worst is over. The struggle is done. You're going to be able to kick your feet up, rest, relax, enjoy your life. You're going to have more time to play and create and spend time with your loved ones rather than having to, like, grind, 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 work, work, work. Um, it's been a slog, okay? You've been working really hard. You've been very dedicated and committed, and they commend you for this, but... They're also noticing that, you know, you're kind of burning out here. So the universe is going to come in. They're going to bless you so that you have more time and energy in your day-to-day -day routine to enjoy yourself and take care of yourself and indulge in little things, okay? Um, that's what they want you to know. Yeah, the Nine of Pentacles, you've earned this with your gifts. You've put in the hard work and the effort. You and only you have gotten you here to this place in time. Okay. The moon. So this speaks to secrets, keeping things hidden. Shh, quiet. <laughs> okay, for real. This is what they want you to do. They want you to stay quiet. They want you to keep this a secret. Keep it under wraps. Okay, hide this, not forever, but just until the work is done, all of the downloads have come in, you've created whatever this is, and you've gotten like just the stamp of approval, or you had it um, looked over by a lawyer and they've protected it with their lawyer things. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I'm just getting that for you. You just don't want anyone to come along and snatch this up. The King of Cups. So you're entering like a state of self-mastery and abundance. Okay, you're very psychic and intuitive. You are very heart-based. You're a sweetheart. You're an empath. And I feel that you want to give back. Okay, and you've recently been anointed. You are a chosen one and this spiritual crown has been placed upon your head. And now your crown is opening to receive blessings from the universe. And I'm telling you, you're about to receive some big badass downloads that are going to just be amazing for you. Very fruitful, very abundant. It's a blessing here. Okay. But you have to protect it. Seven of Pentacles. That's an energy of waiting. Wait. Hold off. Wait. Because it, it needs to like grow. It needs time to develop before you share this. Okay? Yeah, the sun. <laughs> Wait. Don't reveal this right away. Hold off. And when the time is right, then you can let the world know about this. Then you can expose what this is. You can put this out there for everyone to see. Okay. Wow. This is a huge blessing. The Five of Pentacles. So I feel that if you have been experiencing 
hard times, if you have fallen on difficult times financially, or you've been tired, and it's been a slog, and you're wondering when the breakthrough is coming, Spirit wants you to know it's coming. It's coming, and it's going to change your financial circumstances, and you are going to be rich, okay, in all ways. You're spiritually rich, and now you're about to be rich financially, okay? And you deserve it. You've been working hard. But you just also want to be mindful that someone doesn't come along and take from you or steal from you. The Queen of Cups. We have the King and Queen of Cups out here. A divine match. A divine couple. So many of you, you have been manifesting your match and that person is coming in for you. That's also one of the blessings coming in. Both of you have been anointed, okay? Both of you are now wearing a spiritual crown. And I've been getting this message in my readings for a, like a few days now. 1111 on the timestamp. Metatron's number. You're on your soul's true path. And that's why you're being blessed, because you're in alignment. And again, if you, if you look at the King and Queen of Cups, they both have watery crowns above their head. This is that spiritual anointment that I've been talking about. You both have crowns, spiritual crowns on your head. And also your crown chakra is about to explode. It's about to blow up wide open, even wider than before. Um, and so you're going to be receiving a lot of really important, valuable information that can better not only your life, but the lives of many other people. However, you don't want this to fall into the wrong person's hands. You know, someone who doesn't know what to do with this and they misinterpret the information, they misuse it, they abuse it. And you just don't want that. So you need to protect it. Okay. Keep it secret. Keep it hidden until the time is right. The Ten of Swords. So, yeah, the Ten of Swords speaks to a painful ending, a betrayal. And this is this is what I feel the Divine is just sort of warning you against. You know, this could fall into the wrong hands and lead to a loss or a betrayal. So just be careful. You are a spiritual teacher, a spiritual guide, and this information is coming from your star family, from the cosmos, from the divine. And it's meant to heal people. It's meant to help people. This is like spiritual wisdom or spiritual knowledge, or it could be like a healing modality that you channel or bring through. So just keep it, keep it for you. Yeah, look, the devil. You don't want this toxic person to, to swoop in and make a mess of things here, okay? Yeah, the Seven of Swords. You don't want someone to come in and steal this from you. Okay. That's the message. Let's pull some oracles. Who can you call in to assist you? with this part of the journey who can you call in michael wants you to call him in to protect you he's saying call me in to protect you your crown chakra your third eye your throat chakra or all of your chakras whatever you want here call me in to protect your wisdom your knowledge your downloads your abundance your money your bank accounts this creative project your ideas your whatever it is anything anything that you want protected Call in Michael. He will do it very happily for you. Okay? He's saying it would be my honor to do so. Rama and Sita, holy union, soulmate connection, romantic opportunity. Yeah, so you guys, you have your match. Your match is coming in. 1444 on the timestamp when I said match. You could be seeing 444 or 1414. 
or 44. Yeah, your match is coming in. Not only that, but like... magical downloads that are going to lead to a lot of abundance for you okay you know what oh cool okay so they just showed me that when you and this person come together when you guys come into holy holy union with your counterpart you guys are going to like sit in meditation together and you are both going to receive the same download at the same time okay it's like by you guys coming together, it opens up some sort of a portal and these downloads come in. It's actually for, it, it's going to be like for both of you. Or you might get a download and then they might get a download and then you talk about what you received and you, you make something together, okay? It's going to be a little bit different for all of you since this is general, but that's what I'm getting. It's like by you two joining forces... You're going to open up this channel, this huge cosmic portal, and in comes the downloads, okay? I don't know how else to describe the vision that I'm receiving, but that is basically it. It's like when you come together, you guys will be a powerhouse, a power couple, and you will be blessed with brilliant ideas and brilliant epiphanies, and you are both to protect this wisdom, both of you. Okay, Michael's encouraging me to encourage you <laughs> to call him in to protect this union, protect this holy union, protect your counterpart, protect this connection. Okay, because it's a really important connection. It is protected, but it never hurts to add extra layers of protection, right? never hurts the divine director trust the process create space for divine order to unfold 1717 on the timestamp that's the number of the star this is your like cosmic forces here stepping in okay create space for divine order to unfold and i feel this is just backing up that message that was coming through about waiting like wait, create space, give it time for it to grow and unfold and develop into something mature, okay? I'm just really heavily getting that. Because when it first comes to you, it will be in its uh, infantile baby state. <laughs> in, um, infant state, right? And then you're going to have to nurture it and, and tend to it and allow it to mature, okay? I hope that makes sense. Mother Mary, yeah. Miraculous encounter, divine experiences. Do not be afraid of being powerful. Yeah, you're going to have to tend to this just like a mother tends to her child or her children, okay? Recognize the signs from above. Angels are sending you messages now, but you're too distracted to notice. Stay alert and open to divine guidance. Look, you guys, it's the number 444 in this card. Okay, and I saw 1444 earlier, and I was talking about 444 or 44. So there you go. Synchronicity right there. Oh, okay. Let it go. This situation no longer serves you. Allow me to sever your energetic connections to the past so that you can embrace your future. Embrace your life purpose. I am guiding you toward your life purpose. Whatever makes your heart joyful is what you're meant to be doing. Yes. Beautiful. Okay. So this is where I sign off. I hope you found this message helpful. Um, 
many blessings to you and I'm excited to see what you create. But remember to protect this, okay? It is divine. It is holy. And give it time to grow and mature before you put it out there, okay? All right. All the good vibes I am sending to you. <laughs> I am wishing you all the best on your journey. And remember to stay aligned, my friends. Stay aligned. Bye.